is me a B and I am back here with a, another video. Today's video I'm going to be showing you all all of my favorite shampoos, favorite conditioners, deep conditioners, styling creams, oils, clay masks, everything. Everything that I use on my hair. I have low porosity hair so I hope these help other people with low porosity hair and then some of these are also good for high porosity hair. So let's get right into the video. First things first, I'm going to start off with the shampoos. Both of my favorite shampoos that I like are both from Cream of Nature. One of them is the Mango and Butter Ultra Moisturizer Shampoo for de dehydrated hair. And then my new favorite is the Cream of Nature with Argan Oil and Morocco Oil Sulfate Free Moisturize, Moisture and Shine Shampoo Hydrate and Detangles. Both of these leaves my hair feeling moisturized without stripping. My scalp feels clean and everything. I also detangle with my shampoo and my hair. And I don't feel like it's tough to detangle. So they have a nice lip, but also gives my hair a nice cleanse. So yes, these are my two top favorite shampoos that I'm currently using and the ones that I've been using. My top conditioners are the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mafara Oil Intensive Hydration and Conditioner with Fig Extract and by Boil Oil. For hyd to hydrate and replenish dry damaged hair. And my favorite leave-in is the Garnier Futris Sleek and Shine Intensely Smooth Leave-In Conditioner Cream with Argan Oil and Morocco Oil for frizzy, dry, unmanageable hair. So this is my go-to for a leave-in. And then this is my conditioner. When I'm in the shower, I put the conditioner all through my hair and I detangle it with my conditioner in it. And then I add my deep conditioners on top of my conditioner. I don't rinse out my conditioner. I just go ahead and put the deep conditioner right on top. And my two deep conditioners that I go between are the Texture ID Deep Morsh or Deep Treatment Mask with sweet almond oil, wheat protein, and honey. Restore strength and hydration. Wheat protein is great for low porosity hair. And my next favorite is the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mafral Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask with American Rock Fig and my Boil Oil. I, I just go between these two. And I put them both on top of this conditioner. The other conditioner that I use in the shower is the Texture ID conditioner. But I'm, I ran out so I can't show it to you in the video. But I put them on top and then I comb through them. And I leave four twists on my hair and then I leave them up and then I put a bag on top of my head. And that's how I deep condition my hair. I use, I just go between each week. One week I use this one, one week I use this one. And then just go back and forth. My favorite styling creams the last three years well actually about four or five but anywho my favorite styling moisturizers are the shea moisture coconut and hibiscus curling and enhancing smoothie with silk protein and neem oil nine oil anywho silk protein is also great for low porosity hair and my next favorite is texture id styling cream with cocoa butter and shea butter Provides medium hold while retaining moisture and elasticity. These are my holy grails. Like this one is like, it's like butter almost. Like you can tell that I use it a lot. I don't know if it will focus, but it's very thick. Well, it's thick to like to the touch, but it's not like thick once you put it on your hair. Like the consistency, all you got to do is literally dab your hand and enough part of this on your hand will coat your hair. You don't need to get a coop, scoop of hair or whatever. You don't have to use a lot of it. Literally a little goes a long way and it leaves your hair so moisturized. And usually when I use that, I don't even add oil to my hair because of how moisturizing and oily it already feels by itself. With this, I sometimes add oils after it dries a little bit. 
I don't like using oil while I'm actually doing my hair, like while I'm soaking wet. If it is sometimes, if I just do a quick wash, I'll put oil on my hair and then I'll put the leave-in in. But just because I feel like that seals my hair with me being a little porosity, sometimes I do put the oil on first. My favorite clarifying detoxing mask for my hair is using with using the Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay Deep Pore Cleansing. You can get it at Amazon, you can get it at Whole Foods, Trader Joe's. And then I use this, I add a little bit of olive oil. And I add the Bragg's Raw the I use the Bragg's Raw Apple Cider Vinegar with the Mother. I use all that, mix it up, I put it all on my hair, let it sit for about 10-15 minutes or when I see that it's hardening a little bit, I will insert a picture of how my hair looks once it's in there. You can see my curls just clump and it's so beautiful. I love it. But that is my favorite, like clarifying, deep can, well, that is my favorite like detoxifying clay mask or deep conditioner or max hydration treatment whatever you want to call it i love it i try to do it at least once a month so i don't get like a too bad protein overload or whatever my go-to gels i use the diva curl ultra defining gel i use that when i use the the curl enhancing smoothie and when i use the texture id styling cream i put this on top i mix these two together and that's how i, I get my looks my next favorite is the extreme wet line gel i use this for my buns and if i just want a soft hold on a hairstyle and when i do like perm rise sets i may put a little bit on my ends to give the crisp look at the end of the curl to get my hair to hold on to the roller my all-time favorite i've been using since this fall is the edge booster strong hurl styling gel i use the pineapple scent this right here, have your edges, bun, or whatever laid for days. Like, in the morning, if anything, I may just put a little bit on it. But sometimes I don't even have to touch my edges or my bun whatsoever. Because this how thick it is. Like, it's such a strong hold. Like, look at that. No move, no nothing. And the hint, like, I got some on my hair right now. I don't, I'm not one of those people to, like, just lick the edges. I just put it on there so they laid, but... This is the bone. Something that I use like for it's like to rehydrate my hair just a little bit. I use the Taylor Beauty Moisturizing Mist. It's for refreshing and strengthening dry hair. Sorry that the sun is kind of messing up me doing this a little bit. But it's great. I just turn it on, make sure spray, and I just spray it all over my hair. And then I just pat my hair and it just instantly moisturizing my hair with just a little bit of spritz and it's better than using water and make it feel like your hair is wet it don't necessarily make your hair wet but it do moisturize your hair and rehydrate it without using water or a styling cream my favorite things to use when i'm doing a pre-poo i just ran out of the aloe vera juice because i use it on my hair friday but i use aloe vera juice honey no matter what type of honey but it's honey that i use and then I add a little bit of coconut oil or olive oil. And then I heat it up and then I add it to the roots of my hair and bring it all the way down to the ends, twist them up. And then when I get in the shower and rinse out, I have way, way, way less shedding when I'm washing my hair after a week of having my hair in a bun or braids because I, or I work. So if you haven't tried that, that is the best way. But remember, do not use too much honey because if you use too much honey, then it will leave your hair a sticky mess my mom did that so do not make that mistake if you do see yourself adding too much honey all you gotta do is add extra oil and like olive oil or whatever and when it heats up the it solidifies the honey a little bit and then it's the perfect mixture my favorite oils are the jojoba oil jojoba oil olive oil these the little ones from Walmart. I love the Jamaican black castor oil. 
little puppy. Teach you all. And grab another one. And then the hair that I used for my scalp, or the oil that I used for my hair, my scalp, sorry. I used the D, the Do Grow Stimulating Hair Oil. That's how to moisturize my hair. When it's in the bun. Oil for protective styles. I use this to moisturize my scalp. My oil that I usually penetrate my hair with is Taylor Beauty Grow Thick Oil for longer, stronger, healthier hair. I love the bias instead of buying all the oils that go in it. It has the castor oil, sesame seed oil, avocado oil, apricot oil, jojoba oil, vitamin E oil, and rosemary oil. All those are mainly essential, so I'd rather just get it already mixed up and be already. I'm also trying out another oil right now that I bought from Etsy, and it smells almost like the wild growth oil that has the terrible smell, but this smell isn't as bad. So if it turns out great, I will let you all know. This concludes this video. I hope you all enjoy all the products that I have and that I use. I hope they benefit you. Let me know in the comments if you try them out and they work for you. I have been using all of these for about four years. Like, cause I've been, my hair regimen or whatever has been set for like the last four years. I'm not one to really go and try new things. Right now I'm trying to try out the African pride, but this is so rare. I'm not, once I find something that my hair likes, I usually stick to it. But anywho, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave out other suggestions in the comments. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Peace out, party people.